back all my darlings today i will be making some delicious pepper pot i got this recipe request from the someone here from the channel she goes by the queen she requested for me to make authentic pepper pots so this is this is how i'm going to prepare it our way um you know everyone have their way of preparing pepper pot there are so many ways of doing it and um, some use a little bit of ingredients not a lot which most people is saying that's the authentic way just basic casrip a little bit of sugar and um, some clove and cinnamon stick and maybe a piece of um orange peel that's how a lot of people prepare their pepper pot um, they said that's the authentic way of doing it not putting in all these ingredients that i am using so i'm using some fresh garden herbs and um, to flavor my pepper pot this is how we've been doing it throughout the years so i in a cup for me and to my many pepper pot wrong okay so these are all the ingredients i will be using um the queen i hope you enjoy my version of it and you enjoy it with your family so we're going to start off with some onions we have some hot pepper i'm using some garlic some celery some parsley broad leaf thyme and um, the fine thyme mardman poke a little bit of ginger and we're going to blend everything up season our meat and start preparing our pepper pot but before i go i want to give a big shout out happy birthday greetings are going out to bob from his beautiful wife, Paro Passat. His birthday was July 31st, and she requested for me to give him a shout out. So big love to you, Bob, and I hope you enjoy your birthday. Sorry that um, I'm posting this birthday shout out a little bit late, but you know you know what they say in Guyanese ways, right? Better be late than never. So we're sending you love, um, positive thoughts, and a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of hugs on your special day. So let's blend these ingredients up and marinate our meat. To my food processor, I'm gonna go ahead and add all my ingredients, all my green seasoning, and blend everything up. So to marinate our beef, this is our green seasoning that we prepare. I am using um, the beef flank and short ribs. You know, it's a nice cut to have bone. It have a lot of nice fat to it. Also, I'm using some part of the foot, you know, the cow foot here, like the bony parts. And you know, that, that gave it good flavor. You see all that marrow in there? Oh God. So I'm gonna go in and add my green seasoning here. And the aroma, it's smelling so good. Right, Atiana, grab mm -hmm. this. So we're gonna go ahead and add our green seasoning here. So this is about maybe, um, I have here about maybe five pounds of beef and I'm adding here about a whole cup of green seasoning. That's right. And I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper here and that's it. I'm gonna mix this in and let this marinate for maybe an hour or so and then we're going to proceed to the next step so here i have some olive oil heating up in my big karahi you know we're cooking this in our karahi stove top we're not putting it in the instapot do bear in mind you can use your instapot nothing is wrong with that but whenever i cook pepper pot i love to cook it stove top low and slow you know let the flavors infuse i'm using some aromatics here to flavor the oil i have a cinnamon stick and i break up my cinnamon stick because when you break the cinnamon stick you know you release that goodness from the cinnamon stick i have here a star anise a few star anise a few cloves and we're going to add it to our oil and let this start infuse some flavors before we drop our beef in so this is what our seasoned meat is looking like. Look at all that delicious flavor on it. We're gonna go ahead and add it to our pot. Here that sizzle, huh? And what I'm gonna go ahead and do here, I'm gonna go ahead and let this brown release some of that, you know, um, rank water or bloody water before we add our cast rib 
and we're not adding anything else like garlic or thyme or anything of that sort because the meat is well seasoned with all that we're going to add a little piece of orange peel here but it's going to be in a few minutes later on in the cooking process so i'm going to mix this in and i'm going to come back with the next step you can see here most of the liquid is absorbed out of the meat you know it dry down and the meat start to get that nice color on it and that's what we're looking for so now i am going to go in with my dry orange peel that i have here the dry up my orange peel and keep it and we're gonna go in with our casri i'm not using any bottle seasonings like onion powder garlic powder or any you know paprika or anything feel free to add it to yours if you would like but i'm not using it here i'm not judging anybody you know this recipe is to your take and um, how you prefer it so if you want to use that, feel free to go ahead and use whatever you want to add to your pot, season your meat. And I'm, you know, this is my good old Guyana cash reef. If it's one thing I beg when people coming back from Guyana for, is the cash reef. It's your bottle, how you all look at me. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this in. And you add cash reef to your desired color as well. You know, how you like, how dark you like it. It looks like I need more cash right here, so I gotta go grab another bottle. And this is smelling so yummy. Hi, Julia. Let's grab some more cash right. So I'm going in with some more cash right. And you know what makes pepper pot is the cash right. So if you get cash right, buy a better than attempt for make pepper pot. So a sauce naga work here. Or no other sauce, you got to get authentic Guyanese Kiazri. The real thing. Say, say Guyanese best. Guyanese best Kiazri Papa use here. <laughs> so I'm gonna mix this in and then I'm gonna let this fry up a little bit. You know, let the Kiazri pick the meat, pick up the, the flavor from the Kiazri and hold it. And I am going to go ahead and add some water and start boiling our pepper pots. Abby pepper pot, but look at this, it's looking so good. Let's add a little bit of salt to this pot because I didn't add any bottle seasoning, so we need a little bit of salt. And gradually add, you can always add, but you cannot take out. You can taste it. If you guys can smell this, wow. This meat pick up the Kazri flavor, delicious. It's tasting so good. I'm gonna go in with some hot water from my kettle and start the boiling process. Give this low and slow heat and let it cook. This is what our pot is looking like. Let me tell you, the aroma in this kitchen is so, so flavorful. It boiled down nicely. It have a nice flavor. Every the meat is nice and tender, you know. But I'm not gonna cook this down further because you know with pepper pot you need that nice gravy in it. And every day we're gonna keep this on the stove. We're not putting this in the fridge. Every day you're gonna boil it back, you know, heat it up. So you want that nice rich gravy in it. Now I'm gonna go in, final step here, and add some sugar. I'm using brown sugar. You can use any sugar of your choice. And I went in with like about half a cup of sugar here. And this is to your sweetness preference. You can add more or you can add less. And that's it. Our pepper pot is finished. I am baking fresh homemade bread. As soon as that is finished, I am going to plate this up and have my beautiful little taste tester who keeps coming into the kitchen every two minutes to smell this pot, okay? To see if it's finished. So I'm gonna have her taste it for you guys. So we got somebody over here out of patience, can't wait for the fresh homemade bread to be made to eat. So we're giving her store-bought bread, okay? So dig in, child. How do you know pepper pot is good? When it's sticky. Yes, when it sticks to the finger and it's gooey, right? I want to pass out if I could. You pass out? 
so you guys hear she said it's so good that she's gonna pass out so there you have it atiana review so i hope you guys enjoy this recipe thank you my darling for your recipe request and i hope it meets your expectation of a delicious pepper pot you don't have to be christmas to be eating pepper pot you can have pepper pot whenever you crave it but look at her going in for the meat mm, all that deliciousness taste the meat and let them know how we eat to get some of the bread mm -hmm. and this and then the meat Guy needs picnic, eh? <laughs> How is it good? No words. No words? It's that good. It's excellent. One out of ten. What is it? I broke my scale. There's no number. <laughs> <at this point. laughs> so sending you guys our love, thanks, and gratitude. See you soon with another delicious recipe. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Love you all. Bye. Mwah. Try this.